multiple myeloma, also referred to as myeloma, is the second most common blood cancer. It affects the elderly disproportionately, with the median age at diagnosis of 69 years of age. Myeloma is a type of cancer that arises from plasma cells, which are a type of white blood cells in the bone marrow. Plasma cells typically produce antibodies that help us fight infections in the body. In myeloma, these plasma cells become cancerous and grow uncontrollably and produce abnormal proteins. Patients with myeloma typically present with symptoms such as bone pain, fatigue, anemia, and kidney dysfunction. The disease can progress slowly or rapidly, and treatment options depend on the patient's age, overall health, and the extent of the disease. Currently, there's no cure for multiple myeloma. However, there are many treatment options in the management of the disease. Several classes of therapies are currently available for the treatment of multiple myeloma. These include proteasome inhibitors, immunomodulatory drugs, and monoclonal antibodies. Proteasome inhibitors work by inhibiting the proteasome, which is important for degrading proteins in cancer cells. This stops the growth of myeloma cells. Immunomodulatory drugs work by activating the immune system against myeloma cells, while monoclonal antibody therapies target specific proteins on myeloma cells. Stem cell transplants may also be an option for patients who are young and fit. All these options may be used in combinations or as a standalone therapy. Unfortunately, myeloma is incurable and the disease will relapse or become refractory to prior treatments. Relapsed myeloma refers to the return of the disease after a period of improvement. Refractory myeloma means that the disease did not respond to treatment or stopped responding after a period of time. For patients with relapsed or refractory multiple myeloma, class switching may be an option once they become resistant to the current treatment. The goal of class switching is to target the myeloma using therapy with a different mechanism of action to maximize disease control in an effort to prolong patients' lives. While there are many significant advances in the treatment of multiple myeloma, there's still an unmet need for patients who relapse and who are refractory to treatment. There is a need for therapies with new mechanisms of action that can address this gap in the care of patients with myeloma. Selective inhibitors of nuclear export, or XPO1 inhibitors, represent an entirely new class of therapy in the treatment of relapsed refractory multiple myeloma. The first XPO1 inhibitor has been approved by Health Sciences Authority and included in Singapore's cancer drug list, CDL, for treatment of relapsed refractory multiple myeloma. Previous medications target myeloma cells, surface or pathways inside the cell. XPO1 inhibitors block the transport of proteins within the nucleus, leading to myeloma cell death. Their unique mechanism of action distinguishes XPO1 inhibitors from existing treatment classes. Many patients with myeloma have shared very personal stories with me over the years about the toll of this disease takes on their lives. I want to thank all the patients who bravely fight this battle every day. It is for these patients that we continue to push forward in our research to find more effective treatments and new hope. With innovative therapies like XPO1 inhibitors, there is reason to be hopeful that we are making progress. I hope XPO1 inhibitors and other newer treatments on the horizon can provide more time for our patients with multiple myeloma. <laughs>